Jose getting Tyler Toffoli. Chicago getting Laurent Brossois. New Jersey getting Brendan Dillon. Columbus getting Sean Monaghan. But the Winnipeg Jets said, not so fast. We need to get a signing of our own. And they sign er Eric Comrie. Is that it? Is that it? Just Eric? Okay. So Eric Comrie is, I want to say, the backup going forward. There's like a, a small microscopic chance he's actually the AHL mentor to Thomas Millich. And they just end up going another direction. I don't think that's what they're doing, though. But it's an option. But man, oh man. This day is chaotic and i i hate it but i love it but yeah eric comrie two years eight hundred seventy five thousand dollars you can't argue with that price you you can't argue with that um winnipeg jets here's the thing for for goaltending this is how the winnipeg jets operate it's connor hellebuck is getting paid seven million dollars so you're not spending a lot of money on a backup the backups in the past couple years let's just let's just look through it um Eric Comrie signing, um, David Riddick, was it Eric Comrie, uh, Laurent Brossois, all those contracts came in at under $2 million, and I believe the Laurent Brossois was just $1 million flat. This is extremely typical for the Winnipeg Jets. This is an exact replica of how they like to do business. If you like the city, you will play in Winnipeg. Like, if you want to play in Winnipeg, you will play in Winnipeg. And Eric Comrie has made it abundantly clear over the years that he is happy playing in Winnipeg in this market for this team. He also like, he knows the leadership group. He knows everyone pretty much on the team at this point um, in terms of just the major players. He's um, comfortable with the systems, the goaltending coaching. He's all familiar with. Yeah, I get this move. I understand this move. I think Eric Comrie played not he wasn't stellar the last two years. He wasn't. Um, he struggled a little bit in the log gen that was the Buffalo Sabres and ultimately got waived to the AHL. However, I think Eric Comrie still has a lot to offer this team. When played correctly, Eric Comrie can steal you a couple games, and I think that's all you can ask for from your um, backup goalie. He had a 934 save percentage in the AHL in the four games that he played. Uh, went record of one, three and one this year with the Buffalo Sabers. He struggled to get it get really going. He went with a record of two and seven with an eight seventy four save percentage and a three sixty nine goals against average. The year prior, he had an eight ninety eight. Uh, he had an eight eighty six with a nine nine one record, and then the year before that, he had a ten five and one record with the Winnipeg Jets. So he has had glimpses of great, of, of really solid play. It's just the last cup two years, it really hasn't come together for him properly. I think, though, this is a move I like in terms of backup goaltending, which, as you guys know, I'm very particular about goaltending. I am I have my opinions on him. I played goaltending. I, it's, it's a position that I feel very comfortable talking about analytically. This is the move that you make. I It's, it's a very typical Jets move. And it's the right thing to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know down below in the comments, though, your thoughts on this move. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time. We'll keep it going. Check out all our other videos. The Brendan Dillon video, the Sean Monahan video, all of that. We really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks.